We begin tonight where our partners at CBS Evening News left off. Three people killed, dozens hurt after an Amtrak train headed to Chicago derails. You can see the cars flipped on their sides. Passengers had to climb out of the wreckage through the windows. Now, this train was coming from Los Angeles when the derailment happened in Menden, Missouri. It's about 84 miles northeast of Kansas City. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman live at Union Station where that train was expected this afternoon. Marissa? Yeah, Joe Marie, that train supposed to arrive here at Union Station just before three. Of course, that trip now canceled because of this crash. That 2,000 mile journey now cut short. And tonight, some of those numbers about what happened are starting to roll in. Now, we've just learned that more than 40 people were hurt. Three people were killed, two who were inside the dump truck that collided with this train and one person on board that train. Listen now to one passenger who survived this. I was afraid the windows were going to smash, so I shimmied myself up against the exit to the room, and then we slid, and then we came to a stop, and it was silent for, I don't know, a while, and then I heard some girls crying from the next room. He, like many, was able to climb out and ended up sitting on top of one of the train cars. Video coming in from inside the train from passengers on board shows the train on its side, the windows now the ceiling. Passengers reporting the chaos and confusion, forcing them to cram, cram rather into tight spaces to avoid injury. Aerial photos show you another perspective from this derailment. Amtrak says the train collided with a dump truck, eight train cars, seven of them carrying passengers went off its tracks. We know this was a full train, 207 passengers, 14 crew members on board. Eight medical helicopters were needed to help shuttle patients for treatment. Missouri State Highway Patrol just wrapping up a press conference within the last hour, confirming this is just the beginning of a lengthy investigation, and this happened at what they call an uncontrolled crossing. It's an uncontrolled uh, cross buck intersection on a gravel road, uh, so no lights, no electronic control devices, things such as that. Now, it takes about two days to travel from L.A. here to Chicago. Survivors of this crash were taken to an area high school. Others were taken home. That includes a group of high school students who are traveling from Kansas to here to Chicago for a leadership conference. Organizers tell us this evening none of those students were hurt in this. We're live tonight from Union Station. Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you.